I'm Sarah Ford, a certified holistic nutritionist and actor living in Los Angeles, and today I want to share with you what I eat in a day. I really enjoy a cup of coffee or a shot of espresso in the morning. I would say I'm a natural morning bird, but I still appreciate the boost that it gives me. I like to take this time to center myself, have some quiet time, and think about what I want to accomplish for the day. I had a few appointments on my schedule today, so I knew that I needed to take advantage of the morning hours to get my work done. So I poured myself another cup of coffee and got right into it. Today my focus is learning to edit my first YouTube video about my experience being diagnosed with Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome, or POTS. This video is available on my YouTube channel if you're interested, and I'll link it below as well. I continue to work through the end of my intermittent fasting window, which is at least 14 hours between dinner and breakfast the next day. I had breakfast around 10.30 a.m. and chose to make myself a protein smoothie because it's quick and easy, really nutritious, and it allowed me to get right back into the flow of my work. The base for my smoothie will be a banana and a scoop of ice because the banana is not frozen and I want my smoothie to be nice and cold. In addition to the many vitamins and minerals found in bananas, they actually serve as prebiotics, which means that they feed your probiotics, which we rely on for a healthy immune system, balanced mental health, and a healthy digestive tract. Next up, I'm adding some frozen blueberries and raspberries. These berries pack a nutritional punch, and they're fairly low glycemic, so they won't spike my blood sugar. I have a slight zinc deficiency, and spinach is a great source of zinc, so I try to fill the rest of my blender with spinach. Chia seeds are a great source of alpha-linic acid, which is a form of omega-3 fatty acid. Omega-3s reduce inflammation and increase longevity. After sprinkling in my chia seeds, I'll add a scoop of whey protein powder. I always make sure that my whey protein is grass-fed and organic, also undenatured. Undenatured means that it was not processed using high heat and is still in its most natural form. Whey protein also helps your body synthesize glutathione, which is one of the most potent antioxidants. Antioxidants help our bodies neutralize free radicals, which cause inflammation, damage the body, and contribute to disease progression. We're exposed to free radicals when we breathe in things like pollution, tobacco smoke, and even car exhaust. Other examples of antioxidants are vitamin C, resveratrol, selenium, lycopene, and zinc. But there's a lot of others too. Overall, I definitely want these in my smoothie. After finishing a few more hours of work, I'm off to meet my fiance for lunch. My fiance's office is actually really close to our home in Venice Beach. Since I will be going straight to a hot yoga class, I am going to drive. There is a huge cafeteria at the office where a variety of foods are available. I usually make a fresh salad using the spring mix, chopped carrots, bell peppers, baby tomatoes, feta cheese, turkey, and a huge scoop of avocado. Because I'm on my way to hot yoga class, I also grab a protein bar for the road. I'll eat this in the car, along with some electrolyte infused water, which I forgot to record. After yoga class, I need to take a shower and get ready for an event I'm going to later today. I'm not sure if this event is going to be serving food, so I decide I'm gonna have another meal before I go and then potentially eat again when I get home. It all just sort of depends. I have some leftover bok choy and chicken with rice from the night before. I'm going to heat this up and have it with some coconut aminos, which I use for flavor. Coconut aminos are an alternative to soy sauce and are great for people with sensitivities to soy or gluten. One thing I'm really trying to get better about right now is batch cooking. I find it's immensely helpful to have healthy, balanced meals ready to go at a moment's notice. Tonight, I am headed to a political event where I'll be checking out a new potential candidate for president because I'm honestly just not super impressed with our current choices. We'll see what I think about this guy. I can tell you this much, he gets major points for what he said about the American food system. No, well, I'm gonna clean up, I'm gonna clean up our food so we're actually being Turns out there was no food at the event. There were some drinks, but I didn't partake. When I get home, I heat up the rest of my leftovers and brew my fiance and I some hot tea. I choose raspberry leaf tea for myself because I'm expecting my period and this is supposed to help with cramps. It's already kind of late, so we decide to wind down with one episode of The Sopranos, which we're just watching for the first time. I know we're late, but the show still holds up. I hope you're having a great day. Good night. If you enjoyed this video, this is a new channel, so if you have any ideas for me, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you.